The Pearl River Valley Water Supply District has moved to another phase of trying to rid the reservoir of an invasive plant that could have a detrimental impact. WJTV 12's Terrence Friday explains what's being done to destroy the giant salvinia. It's an ongoing fight, but progress is being made. This week, teams are burning their way through dead plants to get to the problem. The bigger goal is to eliminate some of the dead plant material, like uh, reeds and, and uh, cut grass that has died and fallen over, and it covers it. As we've reported, the giant salvinia plant is 90% contained in the reservoir. That's really good news, but there's bad news, and that is that 10% of it remains. And until we get it to zero, we can't be sure that we can win. Leaders tell us not winning this fight is not an option. Salvinia is an aggressive, invasive plant that can take over a body of water. Blanketing the surface with its fast-growing leaves native to Brazil, it can leave fish without oxygen and boaters at a standstill. If you remember last summer, uh, it probably started from a plant no bigger than your fist and it spread to the, become the problem that it is. So eliminating all of it is the goal. Part of the reservoir had to close off to boaters for the first time in 53 years because of this invasive plant. Now officials are working to educate the public. Um, we do thank everybody for the cooperation and we want to please continue with that. So it's our chance to get rid of this uh, thing. If we don't, uh, we'll probably have a pretty good boating season this summer, but by fall we'll be in in uh, trouble. And the burns will continue this week, weather permitting. In Rankin County, Terrence Friday, WJTV 12.